2022 is a chance to redefine his legacy for the Maiden World title. That's the goal, going for the title. Um, excited with the new calendar and the WSL finals at Trestles again. It's going to be amazing and uh, yeah, I'm stoked. So much energy in both of these maneuvers. Which one did you like better? Oh, that's like picking a favorite child. I mean, look <laughs> at this. Uh, I think it's always just so impactful, that last maneuver, the way that he really throws everything at it. I love that layback option from Felipe. Boom, bangs that hard. Not done yet, down the line. One more whack oh. off the top before the closeout. How was that? Wow. Oh. Last wave, a 9-1-7. Felipe, you go the first. Ethan Huey now needing a 7-9-4. Felipe, the signs are good, mate. The surfing's great, and he's got another chance. Pulls the trigger on this one. Toledo, nice, solid power gouge. Last year's runner-up in the Ooh. world. Drills it off the top again. Highlighting that lip line. Feeling solid. Easily a 4-8-4. We'll see the lead change with seven minutes to go. 12-15 on the clock. We just saw Kemper throw down another... Solid number of five six seven. Here comes Toledo now needing an eight point two four. Nice push off that bottom turn, hammering that section there. Known as one of the fastest surfers in the world in performance conditions, and he's picking his points well on this wave. His best before that was a four point six. The direction of the swell has changed, allowing for better shape and more peaks, just like this. Toledo. Off the bottom, stolen, dragging the bum. And he gets some nice coverage on the backhand. He's looking for something in here. Goes for a massive rotation. It is buttery, soft, and smooth as you like. The crowd loves it. Oh, we got another hot heat in the water right now. Toledo. Off the bottom, stolen, dragging the bum. And he gets some nice coverage on the backhand. He's looking for something in here. Goes for a massive rotation. It is buttery, soft, and smooth as you like. The crowd loves it. A flat eight for Toledo. Toledo put up massive numbers. He's going to be dangerous in the quarterfinals. Yeah, I want my name on the stairs as well. I'll do everything I can. Everything that's under my control, I'm going to do it to win it. As we have another look at this flawless scene in front of us, Bugs. Yeah, and here we go. Felipe winding up, hard off the bottom, there's an aggressive forehand carve. Drills it again. Toledo in motion. Nice top turn over the roof. And now setting up the end of this wave. Toledo is a magician in sections like this. He'll just pace with a front side carve. Now heating up. Looking for a good closeout section. Nice clean off the top. Hits it again. Toledo stays on his feet. His best wave so far. Toledo chasing a 9-1-7. There's an aggressive forehand carve. Drills it again. Looking for a good closeout section. Toledo stays on his feet. His best wave so far. You gotta love it when this man's on fire. He is unstoppable. Same thing for Morgan. He will always be able to talk about the, the two heats he surfed and won against John John Florence. He has an opportunity in the next heat to claim a third victory over the two-time world champ, and he'll have his hands full. John's been on fire, as has this man, Toledo. The Brazilian starts off with a couple of big hits, already has a 7.57 in the bank, and he'll add to it with this ride. It's going to easily get rid of his throwaway score. The first wave of the heat. And he, again, is a, a guy that can actually really increase his heat score or wave score with a big finish. Here we go. Big set waves on the outside. Toledo looking to improve on a 7.57. Beautiful steep section. Big drawn out carve. Maintains plenty of speed to get back up into the pocket again. Disappears for a moment. Uh, emerges from that white water. And now moves through to the inside. Looking for fireworks on the outside. Connor O'Leary falling hard. And Toledo's going to get another nice finish on the inside here. Just kicks that tail. Super explosive. Looks up at the judges. Throws the cheese whiz and works the crowd. Philippe is a little bit more charismatic, sort of a little bit more sort of how Parco competed. Really fun and, and energetic as we see Phil paddling in this one. Getting things started early, Toledo. 
Nice clean swoop off the bottom. Steep section here, oh, and he has wow. the section. So swift in transition through that carve, and again leans on the rail hard. And he hammers it. Big layback. Great variation shown already. What a start for Toledo. Knows he needs to put the foot down. John John Florence has come off the two highest scoring heats <laughs> of the contest so far. And one of the highest scoring heats we've seen this season. That and Toledo's crazy. not done with this one. If anyone's going to throw something big on the end section, it's this guy. It's a clean finish. And wow. a big way. Oh Getting things started early, Toledo. Nice, clean swoop off the bottom. Steep section here, oh, and he has wow. the section. So swift in transition through that carb, and again leans on the rail hard, and he hammers it. Felipe Toledo kicked off with a near-perfect 9.63. This turn is absolutely learning. And he really will be able to open up soon. Let's look at the replay here. Philippe stretching out on that long, grinding roundhouse cutback, up and over the foam again, coming from behind it straight back into the pocket so good variety to this point shows some patience here and then jams the full wrap streaking down the line when you already was setting up for bang hits the alley-oop comes down without a hiccup doesn't lose any speed at all and then goes right out another section let's hit it again and then just go for that front side rotation as we catch up to Toledo in motion off the bottom, beautiful fan of spray. Now roller coastering down the line, looking for the alley oop. He'll get that there. Plenty of speed to burn through the inside. Why not rotate the other way? Amazing stuff here from uh, Felipe Toledo. An emotional moment for Felipe. He gets choked up when he talks about his family that are back home watching. You now got a big bell for your trophy room. How do you feel right now? Oh man, best feeling in the world. Best birthday present, man. Can't complain. This is, it's been amazing. Thank you guys so much. And here he goes now. First ride of heat number five, the round of 16. Sees Toledo hammering down the line. First section, is it wasted? Nice turn there. And now improves. Oh, I think the, the move choice there, D ditching the fins for a moment. And now rolling through to the inside, tricky end section. But Felipe just ollies over the step, maintains that control. Felipe Toledo, look at the wall in front of him. He's got a second great section right here. So Toledo finishes up, but Nat Young's on as well. Nat Young out the back, trying to go it around this first section. Everyone's really excited about it, except maybe the surfers that are uh, qualified for that back of the season. Here's the replay yeah. of Toledo's last ride. We're still waiting on the scores for this one, Rich. The aggressive snap to start things off. A big wrap, the second turn, then gets the finish. Love that style with that backhand tube stance. Back to turns for Felipe. Plenty open face to work with. Crushes it there, two big hooks. There's the third, and quickly reacting to shut it down. R recovering on his heels, he will stay on his feet. Itula Ferrer has to give way to Felipe Toledo, who executes on his priority. Little gaff off the beginning, looks for the wrap <laughs> alley -oop. It's a huge one and stomps it. No problem for Toledo. More amplitude, air reverse, wow. finish, and those are the combos that make Felipe Toledo so, so dangerous. Felipe Toledo opens the semifinal with a statement to Ferreira. Looks for the wrap, alley -oop. it's a huge one, and stomps it. No problem for Toledo. Air reverse, wow. finish, and those are the combos that make Felipe Toledo so, so dangerous. Toledo with the single best wave of the event, a 9.70 dominates Ferreira. 3.33 for Lasta Griff. Toledo needs a 4.39 on this wave to go right into first. He's got that stall. He wants to ramp up. Clear for takeoff. Full <laughs> rotation. Seamless on the landing. Right into a wrapping cutback. Now Toledo ramping up again. Big section. Throw tail yeah, reverse wow. complete. Wow. Ramp up. Clear for takeoff. Full <laughs> rotation. Ramping up again, big section, throw tail reverse wow. complete. For him to perform like that oh, is just oh, bananas. Here we go with Felipe Toledo. Screaming down the line, high line, speed lines, gets to the bottom and unleashes a big fin throw off the top. Once again, the quickness of Toledo in another gear. 
easily getting through this section right here, building up some speed, has to float over that section, comes to this Whitewater coping and just slashes, combos it up for the finish. A little bit of a splash in the face, but no problem for Toledo. Good looking way for Felipe again. Stylish high line. Big carb utilizing the whole rail all the way back. An extra speed for Toledo. Cuts it short on that car, building up some speed down the line. Lip glide, gouges a layback for the finish, and that's a backup for the 8.17. Felipe again, stylish high line. Big car, utilizing the whole rail all the way back, powering through here. And Felipe Toledo just looking like he's having fun. And he's going for a major upset in this event. Yeah, well, don't count, count Felipe out, and here he goes. Felipe Toledo could be ramping up his energy on this one. Solid wall to start. Nice, clean vertical for world number one. Drives hard into the oncoming section. Oh. Blowtail reverse right off the top. Touches the float. Winds up for the finish. A big tail oh drift. God. Controls oh, it. Bad. It would be amazing to win three in a row in, uh, in Sakurama. You know, so humbled to be here, be back in Brazil with the family, friends, being, uh, wearing the yellow jersey. It's pretty special. But right off the buzzer, let's take a look at Felipe Toledo. Oh, unsurprising. Red is Sammy Pupo. Yellow is Felipe. Setting it up, one big move, and oh my goodness, that was crazy. Are you kidding me? Oh boy. A 10 point ride for Felipe Toledo. Famous for throwing tens in finals as he's looking for his fourth event title in his country. To appear in the Rip Curl WSL finals, but you know, a win here, of course, would change all that. Here we go. Answering right back, Toledo. Upside down, throwing spray into the sky. Working his way to this inside section. Blasts the finish, releases the fins, the crowd goes wild. Answering right back, Toledo. Upside down, throwing spray into the sky. Blasts the finish, releases the fins, the crowd goes wild. The fist gets pumped. Huge win there for Felipe Toledo. And Felipe Toledo right now, he's feeling like the top dog. And for Felipe, 2021, while it was his majorly successful year, still a heartbreaking finish. So trying to live up to what feels like destiny right now. Toledo searing three-turn combination. Adds a fourth. The first wave goes to Felipe. So trying to live up to what feels like destiny right now. Toledo, searing three-turn combination. Adds a fourth. Lays down, here's the cheers. We are one ocean, love to see it. And right back at it, live action from Sakurima. The Oi Rio Pro presented by Corona rolls on. Chris Cote here with Kaipo Guerrero. And right back at it, live action from Sakurima. And the crowd is loving. That was just a kick in the face. I mean, that was just incredible, aggressive, radical surfing. Earlier in the round of 16, rankings leader Felipe Toledo clinched his place in the WSL Final Five. Felipe Toledo, congratulations. You just clinched your spot in the WSL Final Five. <laughs> How are you feeling? Oh, shoot. Like after, you know, like all the events and all the results and everything, you know, all the hard work and leaving family behind and, and you know, like all the things that we have to sacrifice. Um, yeah, I'm in over the moon. <laughs> Congratulations. I see you at the Rip Girl WSL Finals, cool. Ellery Trestles. Yes, that's cool. Throwing down a 10 and he's up again, heading that same direction. Backhand float, big vert with an absolute hammer to follow. Toledo shutting this heat down. Wow. Throwing down a 10 and he's up again. Heading that same direction. Backhand float, big vert with an absolute hammer to follow. Toledo shutting this heat down. Felipe Toledo, your champion of the Oi Rio Pro, presented by Corona for the fourth time in his career.
Uh, that right there, I mean, that is just like the compound bowl being pulled back, and Felipe is about to be shot towards a world title. I think the 60,000 people right here would agree. All the heat wins, all the moments with my family, with my friends. What a monster! It means a lot. It is Felipe Toledo's destiny to be the 2022 world champion. He will be hoisting that trophy above his head. Your champion of the Oi Rio Pro, Felipe Toledo! A mighty impressive. Meanwhile, live action, ripping down a big jam off the rail. Felipe Toledo, your world number one in the yellow jersey. Hits it hard off the lip, throwing spray. And just carving again, goes right past a duck dive in Nat Young and hits the lip for a finish. And he waited a long time for that way. Really nice to serve. He had a full body claim, so I think he's happy with it. Let's see what happened. This was the split, Mick. What'd you see here? Uh, I'll let you commentate, mate. <laughs> oh, the carve down to start and then went right back to the lip. How'd you like that one, Mick? Yeah, mate. He's, look, he's been on point all day. He's uh, just going through it. Like, even though this, there's foam on this space, he's just flying through it. That was a nice stomp to finish in. Felipe stepping into motion. Big front side hook. Felipe Toledo, your champion of the Rip Pro WSL Finals and your 2022 World Champ. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Congratulations to Felipe. Your dream is officially realized. You are the world champion, Felipe. How is it sinking in? much better than this you know um uh first of all i you know i want to thank jesus um you know like the what he did throughout my life you know in the last week and well the entire year and you know like a lot of a lot of times you know i was really close to um you know like just you know like not really understand things and 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 just you know i kept calm and collected and that came from from the guy up there and um and last night we had you know we had a moment with uh pastor john and taryn ananda my wife uh, my family was you know praying to and um two words that you know um uh, he gave it to us peace and power and that's what I had out there, you know, I had a lot of peace and, you know, like I was just waiting on the right waves and surfing it with, you know, like calm um, and, you know, just releasing the power in the waves and with the energy of everybody. But um, after that, you know, my family, we've been doing that. We've been doing this for nine years and, you know, it's uh, it pays off in the end, you know, and whoever, you know, is chasing your dreams, it does pay off. You know, it's it's hard. Um, it's hard. You get tired. Lots of ups and downs. Uh, a lot of you know really bad thoughts. But um, you know, we did it. We did it. And this is going to be here. This is for Brazil. This is for my family. Um, and this is for you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Felipe Toledo, you world champion. Two wins and winning the Rip Curl WSL Finals. Just the other day, we talked about what it would be like, and you had to stay calm and ready to compete. Now that you can let go, is it starting to realize what a world champion means to you? Um, not yet, man. It's too much to digest, you know. All the, the waves and uh, seeing what Italo did, you know, the entire day, coming from first heat of the day all the way to the finals. and. Um, I don't know, man. I just, uh, you know, just the entire year of what I did and um, how, you know, I, I dealt with everything that happened. And I feel like it's going to take a few days to, to, you know, to sink in, to really understand what's going on. But right now, it, it does feel amazing. <laughs> You've done it. You're the best surfer in the world, Felipe. Enjoy your moment. You're 2022 world champion.